When you first log into the Baby Notebook app, you'll add your child by tapping the plus icon. You can fill out the first, middle, and last name if you know it, or you can just select Baby's due date so that you'll get relevant notifications. You can choose boy or girl or just add child. Tap on your child and your book will load. Tap the baby book that was created and you'll see all the chapters in your book. When you download the free version of the app, you'll have access to the pregnancy, family, and home chapters right away, which is all you need during pregnancy. To customize your notifications, tap Notifications in the menu and choose a day and time that works around your busy parenting life. Once you have your baby, you'll want to upgrade to one of our two subscription plans to access the rest of your book. You can find these in our menu, and you can choose the plan that's best for you. At this point, you'll also want to update baby's due date to their birth date. On the chapter screen, you'll tap baby or their photo if you've already uploaded it to edit. You can fill in any missing info and update their due date to their actual birthday. This way you'll get relevant notifications based on baby's age. You have the flexibility to change titles in your book. Just tap that title, tap yes, and type in your new title. The monthly chapters, one month to 11 months old, have one journaling page and 10 places for photos. To write on the journaling page, just tap the lines and you'll see you can tap that light bulb icon for notifications that you've received that month, as well as other ideas. You can now add pages at an additional cost. If you plan to make more than one book in the app, you may want to buy one of the larger page packs because you can use them between both books. As a premium subscriber, you can now rearrange pages in your book as well. Hard press for three seconds on the page you want to move, drag it up or down, and then tap save. You can also hide a page if you don't want a page to print in your book. Just tap the cross out eye icon below the page. If you're a premium subscriber, you'll have the ability to replace a page in your book. You can add more photos by replacing a single landscape photo page with a layout that allows for more photos. All users will have the ability to reset a page in their book. Resetting a page allows you to go back to the original unedited page in your book. Hard press the reset icon to reset. To upload a photo, tap on the image placeholder and choose from your photo library and find the image you want to upload. To edit your photo, tap on the photo and you'll see edit current photo. You can tap transform to crop your photo to the intended page format or customize it. You can rotate, flip it, or adjust your image alignment. Tap the check mark and then the arrow to save your updates to the app. You can also upload a photo by going to your Photos app on your phone. Press down on the photo you want to upload and tap Copy. Toggle on over to the Baby Notebook app, tap the image placeholder, and tap Paste Photo. As a premium subscriber, you'll also have access to two additional photo editing tools. Our done for you photo filters, and our photo editor, where you can manually lighten or brighten your photo. In some cases, you might see a little yellow error icon in the top right hand corner of your photo. You can tap it to see the pixels of your image versus the pixels recommended for best print. This way you can decide whether you want to keep the image in your book or not. In some cases, you could solve this by tapping the image to edit it. As you can see, this was a portrait image in a square position. So I can download it into the app as a portrait image and watch that icon disappear. When you're ready to print, you can hit that printer icon in the top right hand corner. I recommend previewing your book before you print. This way you can see each of the pages next to each other in a side-by-side -side spread and see the full format of your book. Then you can tap print my book when you are done. If an incomplete page screen pops up at checkout, that means you have some pages that you may have missed something on. You can decide to print them as they are by tapping Mark Complete, or you can tap the page to go back in and edit it. 